Hey YouTube, welcome back to my extremely infrequently updated YouTube channel. I uh, thought I would just do a quick video today to answer a question that I get quite frequently on my Instagram channel or Instagram account, which is how do you get the most length out of a railroad spike for whatever project you're working on? And for me, by far, the most common uh, railroad spike tool that I make is a, is a stake turner. And uh, I thought I would show you how I get uh, what I think is a comfortable length out of a six and a half inch railroad spike. Okay, so what I've done here is I've basically laid out a storyboard of the various stages that I go through to get length out of a railroad spike. And these again are uh, about six and a half inch standard railroad spikes here in the United States. Um, these are usually around five eighths inch square by six and a half inches. And um, so in order to get the most length out of this, th this is the way I do it. So I start by drawing down the handle area. You can see that this part here is noticeably reduced in overall diameter than this. So this is 5 eighths. This is probably just, just a little over uh, maybe a half inch. So that's the first thing I do is I draw the handle area down smaller. And you can see just right off the bat that it pushes that material out that way by a good inch or so. And then the next thing I do is I, I put a fuller in right here. And in the end, this winds up, this ends up becoming a good area for the thumb and forefinger. Uh, and then I'll do whatever handle work uh, I'm gonna do. And so this is what I would call a plain handle. I just chamfered the corners down here. But it, by doing that work as well, it's pushed it out just a little bit further and then in the final stages of beginning to get the length out, you can see I've taken this to my hydraulic press and I've pinched this out. And so you can see in a very short amount of time, I've gone from six and a half inches to roughly, I don't know, 12 inches or so, maybe 11 inches in diameter or in length. And, um, and then the final part of this part is just simply drawing this out to whatever point you need. Um, and, and doing the refining on that. Now, this is the end product. And when this is done, before I put my curl in it, this is about 15 inches or so long. And then when I put the curl in it and bend it back, it's around 14. So I go from six and a half to about 14 inches overall for the end product. And really the secret to this whole thing is this step right here. It's reducing the handle material. If you'll reduce the handle diameter down, you'll stretch this out. And in my opinion, you come up with um, a pretty comfortable handle. It doesn't feel quite as, as bulky as the 5 eighths. And uh, again, it just gives you more material pushed out at the end. So there you have it. It's a really quick video, a really simple process. I just wanted to kind of show how I go from here to here without adding any steel in the process. It's all just about manipulating the material and uh, pushing some of the material out to begin with. So I hope that helps. I'll try to put some more videos out soon. Thanks for the follow. See you.